I want to show you how to find the most active trades in TradeStation. You can use a hot list in TradeStation. You can open up a workspace, go to File, New, and then you have to select New Application, Hot List. Control Alt H. You get that, and you can pull up this hot list right here. And if you want to find the most active trades on stock options, unfortunately, there are not futures options. We mainly trade futures. We've talked about futures options lately, and there is not a tool like this for futures option that I know of. There's not one in TradeStation. So I'm looking at the stock option one right now, and this is the you can you can select equities, most uh, active trades in equities, index options, or stock options. And I'm looking at stock options right now. This has become a popular topic, finding the most active options trades based on trades, number of trades, or volume, calls and puts for the day. And this could be indicative of a future big move to that strike price. Today, the number one option trade is the $1 call expiring next Friday in Sundial. Sundial is currently at $0.87. Cents. And I've also linked all these windows with the symbol linking tool in TradeStation. And if you, so, so for example, I created a chart. So if I click on Sundial, you can see the chart of the option. So we're used to looking at the chart of the actual market. This is the this is a separate market on its own. The option has its own market. You can see a chart here. It's at nine cents. And options trade in hundred share fixed contract sizes. So these are these are equity options that I'm referring to. So it'd be nine dollars to buy one contract plus any commission. So for every dollar over one, you would you would earn $100 on your option. Your option would gain in value. And then if it tra if it trades below one below that value of one, then it would be it would expire worthless. And so just as an example of how this works, you would take a look at this and you would see sundial, that's the ticker. Then you have the date which is 21, which is the year 2021, and then the month which is 11, which is November. And then 19, which is the 19th of November. The C stands for call. There can be calls or puts. Calls mean you think the price will trade up through that. Or you, you can short options as well. But if you're buying options and you want to buy an out-of-the-money call, you're anticipating a move higher. And this is the strike price. The 1 is the strike price. So the call, C is the call at $1. And this is currently around $0.87 cents the last I checked. And this is the underlying option. And you can see that is the number one most active trade for calls and puts is Sundial. 238000 at that strike price. So there is no news. I checked for news on this and I, that I found. And so this there, it could be indicative of a big move, uh, something that other traders may know or are speculating on. Apple is second. You can see that this is 21, 2021. Also, November the 19th, the 150 calls. And so you could create an Apple chart as well to check, take a look at that. I've also put here the, um, the market depth. So you can see all the bids and all the offers and the exchange that are traded on, the size of each bid and offer. This is a very active. Apple calls are very active, very liquid contracts. There's 81,000 being traded today on this one particular contract. There are some people who just trade Apple call options full time, and then there is um, you have your you have your time and sales window over here. You can see all the trades that have taken place. So you see a trade at 165. You see the exchange, the size of that, seven contracts, three contracts, one con 22 contracts at 165. So let's pull up an Apple chart so we can take a look at this. So here is a chart of Apple, and you see it's at 149.79. And the price of that call option is 164. So Apple would have to trade above 151.64 for you to be profitable on that option before it expires next Friday. So those that are buying this call option or selling it, there's, if you're buying it, you're anticipating that it will trade above that price. If you're shorting that option, you anticipate that it won't trade above uh, 150. If you're shorting it, it has a you would you would collect a dollar sixty four, and as long as it traded below one fifty one fifty one sixty four by next Friday, it would be profitable. If you went long that option, uh, if it traded above one fifty one sixty four, you would be profitable. So give a perspective on the daily chart. 
you can see the daily chart and so um, it's a speculative trade uh, based on the direction you think the market's going in once again you, you could go long or short that put and so that is one way that you can look at options we've looked at options in our most recent webinar and we've looked at futures options in the Nasdaq anticipating higher prices and you know you could also do that in individual stocks related to those indexes we mainly trade futures we mainly trade options and I'm looking at other tools for futures options and this is one way to trade equity options in TradeStation when you're looking for the most active trades you can also there are many different filters you can look at the dollar gainers dollar losers um, different different uh, criteria you can specify so I thought that was interesting wanted to share that hot list tip with you today